here we are with another web game review back onto new grounds uh, this one is called Zombo Town yet another zombie game um, and it's well hmm, a very small scale I would think um, yeah it seems it doesn't seem like, uh, like hastily made or anything. It seems very, it's, but it seems very small scale. It seems like a first, like someone's first product or some uh, project or something. Because here we have, um, um, well, you go around shooting zombies. It's pretty easy of that. Um, the videos are quite cartoony. I'm quite, quite far uh, in the game so far. Um, let's see if there's a way to. A way to... Mm. No way to restart. Well, to sell the story again, anyway. Um, but yeah, in this you get. It's basically just you go around, shoot zombies. And, um, yeah, try not to die. I, I think pretty much the aim is to just not let the zombies get too close because the hitboxes are. Well, you, you can shoot pretty much from any range. So, well, as, as soon as they start getting close, the hitboxes are white. Difficult to, um, to well, aim for. There's been a few circumstances when I've had people, well, had zombies directly next to me, and um, yeah, I just can't shoot them. Uh, you can get a bunch of different guns, or four different guns anyway. Uh, the first aid kits are pretty redundant in uh, well through my playing my playing simply because if there's a point where you start if you've lost a significant amount of health it usually means you're going to die in a few seconds simply because you can't shoot quick enough but yeah these guns are quite varied uh, the pistol is the weakest obviously well, it seems like the AK-47 is actually the weakest. Um, the pistol seems... Well, the AK-47 fires... You can fire loads and loads of times, but the bullets are really, really weak. The Desert Eagle is fairly powerful. The rifle is very powerful, but you can barely get a few rounds off. And the shotgun seems to be the way to go, which is quite surprising. Considering the AK-47 is the most expensive uh, out of them. Um, yeah. The guns, more than anything else in this, are... Uh, that that I, that I always find rather annoying. It takes you to the shop, then tells you you failed or passed. Even if you've passed, you go to the shop first. I think it's, that should be the other way around, rather than taking to the shop then saying if you passed or failed it. Um, but yeah, it just seems like it's the detail, the, the details of um, the thing don't really match. match. It doesn't match. You can see where it was trying to go. But it, is, it, it just doesn't match up to the the. Uh, I was, was going to say expectation, but it's not. It's the the plan. Yeah, it's got a, quite a few mistakes uh, in it. More, I think more more than anything. It's, the health is 
essentially redundant. The, the power of the guns doesn't match the prices, or the usefulness of the guns doesn't match the prices. The, 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 I think the most useless is probably the, the Ruger, the, 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 the long rifle, simply because you can't fire quick enough. In these latter levels, you have to have something that can kill quickly and gives you enough rounds to keep going. And things like the uh, like this AK-47, it doesn't fit that category. I think I think the only thing that does is the shotgun. Um, yeah, it's very hit and miss. Uh, the implementation is not great. The art is very cartoony and sort of. Um, it's well, it's, this is a zombie game, so can't really tran transcend that far in the artistic category. But um, yeah, it's I'm actually quite more than anything slightly disappointed. Um. It, looking at the game and well, like, like I said, you can see where they wanted to go. It's just they didn't manage to get there, which is yeah. I actually managed to get through this level quite well. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, it's, like I said, with the usefulness of the guns, it's not that fantastic. Because um, you can see the power with the shotgun, because the, the the yellow bar, essentially, they call it the cooldown. Um, it's just basically the amount you can fire. You can uh, upgrade it with... Um, Uh, with each level, there's uh, a leveling, a leveling system in this, which seems sort of out. Of, that seems rather out of place, simply because there's only two uh, upgrades to the RP, uh, to the leveling system, and that's um, just. Cool down and yeah, cool down and health. Yeah, and like I said, it's it's a game where you can see where they want it to go, but it just doesn't quite cross the chasm. 